I will show you how to write a custom and simple logic to open up the web browser using expect actual mechanism in a Kotlin multi-platform. This is often used when you can't find any KMP library for a specific task. In such cases, you do need to define a platform-specific logic for both platforms, in this case Android and iOS, so that you can use that in the shared module. Alright, so I have already generated here a project from my KMP wizard that targets both Android and iOS with a shared UI. In the shared app Kotlin file, I have placed a button on the center of the screen. It will later trigger the logic to open up the web browser. Then, in the common main, I will declare an expect function, or basically a function definition that should be implemented in both platforms later. It's marked with an expect keyword, it takes a string as a parameter and returns a boolean value to indicate if we have successfully opened the web browser, which is optional. Immediately after you define this function, a compile will show warning informing you that you also need to define implementation of uh, actual declaration for this function. If you press uh, Alt plus Enter, then you can use this uh, prompt window to automatically select and create uh, actual declarations in the specified source sets. In the Android main source set, you will see that uh, same function definition marked with uh, actual keyword this time. Which means, here we need to define the logic to open up the web browser on an Android platform. For that purpose, I will add the one dependency called the Android X browser that will help me with that. So be sure to add it inside the Android main source set. Alright, so I will paste the function logic here right now. You will notice that for this task, we are required to use the Android context. However, we cannot pass the context as a function parameter directly, since uh, the iOS side doesn't know anything about the context class. Instead, we need to find the workaround and provide the context uh, only here in the Android source set. For that purpose, I will create here a new class and inherit from the application class. Then, I will create a companion object in order to create an instance of this application class and set its value to be null as a default. Then, after that, we are gonna override the onCreate function and we are gonna initialize the application instance. Finally, be sure to include this class inside the Android manifest file and you are good to go. Now we can create a new function here and grab an application context from an instance of our application. Perfect. Next uh, comes the iOS part. So let's open up the second actual declaration. Here, in order to implement the logic for iOS, you do need to be familiar with uh, iOS and Swift. But uh, it's not necessary, because you can always Google and find a solution for a specific task for iOS. Then you can implement that logic here in the iOS uh, source set. Some of the most important iOS APIs are available by default with Kotlin Native, which is why we can utilize some of its functionalities by importing packages like Platform Foundation, UIKit, and others. For other APIs that are not available, you would have to either create the bindings or add dependencies, which is why I'm going to explain that in more details in some of the future videos. So be sure to leave a comment if you would like to see that. Ok, so now I'm gonna paste here the logic for the iOS part. Great, finally we can go back to the app Kotlin file and from the shared module call this uh, open web browser expect function that uh, will be executed on uh, both platforms. Since now we have the logic that will trigger on each one of those two. So, launch an Android emulator, but also the iOS uh, simulator using the Xcode environment so that we can test the logic. When you click the button, a web browser will appear with that uh, same URL that we have specified. It works uh, great. So let me know in the comment section below if you have used the expect uh, actual mechanism before and your overall experience with it. Other than that, be sure to like this video, but only if you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.